Okay, what's up guys? It's Tom for Cortex Zero. It's time for a more proper introduction, more extensive and thorough than the previous one. Um, so who am I? Who am I? Well, I'm not going to give you my full name or where I live, obviously, but um, I'm Tom. Um, if someone asks me who I am and what I do, I tell them I'm a guitar player. I'm a musician, I can play many instruments, but guitar is my primary. Uh, been doing it since I was in 8th grade, I've been playing for about 14 years now, self-taught. And I'd like to think that I'm pretty good. <clears throat> a lot of people have told me that they think that I'm awesome on guitar. I don't like patting myself on the back, but I never really have anyone tell me that I suck. And if they do tell me that I suck, they're usually being sarcastic or <laughs> just trying to be funny. But well, I'm not trying to gloat or anything, but um, I'm going to have guitar videos associated with this channel. Um, or I may just make another channel dedicated solely for that purpose. Um, in any event, that that is who I am. I am a musician. I'm an artist. I can, I can draw. I can sculpt. I can build. Good with graphic design, you know, anything that falls under the category of art creation and music. I have a degree in audio engineering, so I know my way around a soundboard in a studio. And uh, yeah, that that's the most one of the most important things you should know about me is that I uh, I love playing guitar. But I'm gonna primarily stick with what drives me as far as this channel, this channel, my beliefs and how they are going to factor into what I create, what I upload, what I cover, everything uh, associated with the things that I feel should be covered, things that I find interesting, anything of that sort. So let me start off by saying that um, I am politically savvy. Uh, I don't mind getting into heated political debates with people, but at the same time, um, I try to be unbiased. I try to respect their opinion. I'm not trying to attack anybody. Uh, I don't like making someone feel bad or stupid about anything, really. But... Sometimes you do have to let someone know that they're making a mistake uh, as far as something that they may believe in or, or something that they're following. And I try to avoid that at all costs, but you know what I mean. Sometimes you just have to step in and be like, hey, man, that's you, sh you shouldn't be getting into that. But anyways, politically speaking, um, I love being an American. I get chills every time I play the Star Spangled Banner on my guitar or hear, especially the Jimi Hendrix version of it, because I'm a huge Jimi Hendrix fan. He's like my, my idol, basically, as far as my guitar playing is concerned. But I do not trust this government. I don't like the government. I don't think every single person associated with the government is bad. I, I think that would be... Um, a really stupid assumption to make to just be like, oh, everybody sucks. Everybody, you know, that's 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 not what it is. I feel like a lot of the horrible things that our government pulls off continuously. Uh, I feel a lot of it's compartmentalized, and you know, you can't blame every single last person. There are good people in the government. There are smart people in the government. But I would have to say that close to two-thirds of them probably need to, you know, take an extended vacation and, you know, just turn over the control to someone who really does care about our well-being because... <laughs> I don't, I, you know, wh whether you believe in what I believe in or something else, I think 
if we can find any sort of middle ground, um, it would be that a lot of the government officials, the politicians, the senators, the congressmen, mayors, governors, a lot of these men and women are in it for themselves. But, like I said, don't get me wrong, I am extremely proud extremely proud of being an American. I love my country. I... I I love it to the point that that's partially why I'm doing this. And why alternative news media um, will be an essential part of this channel. Um, Another reason why would be the fact that I don't like being lied to by anyone who has any sort of power over my life or anyone else's life. Um, If you're making laws, you should be telling the truth. You should be in support of what's best for everyone. And yeah, you can't make everyone happy. Okay, that is impossible. And some people are just so whacked out of their minds that it really doesn't matter what you do. They're never going to be satisfied. However... Pulling off false flag attacks, um, whether it's in this country or elsewhere, to uh, push an agenda or you know, use it as a pretext to invade other countries, you know, to increase arms sales, anything of that nature, um, is first of all, it's 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 fucking disgusting, and second of all, anyone who does that should be embarrassed ashamed, and there is a special place in hell for you, if there is a hell, which I'll get into my religious beliefs, which they're not really religious, but I might as well do that now. So, yeah, I, as far as uh, philosophies of spirituality and, and nature of the universe, I mean, all of that interests me. I'm very open-minded when it comes to that, but I was raised as a Catholic for years, and then I just hit this age and this point where I was like, man, I don't know if that's actually what's going on. I mean, I've always had questions, but at the same time, I still went to church on Sundays for years and prayed and, you know, asked for forgiveness if I did something wrong. And then I realized that, you know... This may not be the be-all, end-all. And especially now, I have to consider myself um, an agnostic. And that's because I believe by definition, um, in fairness to the beauty and vastness of the universe and existence, for myself, I can't just immediately say that, oh, there's a God, or oh, there's no God, because... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that for sure. So, for me to adhere to such a powerful belief, like saying, I know there is no God, that, I don't don't think anyone should do that. That doesn't do any justice as far as how majestic and how mysterious everything still is. I mean, I don't know why I'm here. I don't know why I'm here. I I don't know where I came from. No one does. And if you claim to know, you need to look deep inside yourself and realize that you don't. Because if we had those answers, the world would be much different than it is now. And this is why my open-mindedness has led me down so many different paths as far as the things that I like to look into. UFO sightings, alien abduction, telekinetic abilities, strange disappearances, unusual happenings. I just like everything that isn't normal. That would probably be the best way to put it. I like everything that has to do with 
the paranormal or, you know, um, even just funny, silly, weird things too. Like, you know, uh, if I search the internet for, uh, websites and articles dedicated to, uh, you know, strange happenings around the world. I like reading that stuff, man. I love it. Like, if I find an article about how, you know, they claim a child in India is, you know, uh, able to cry glass or, you know, um, has CERN opened up a portal above, you know, this and that. It's, <laughs> that's, I mean, that's the best, man. I love that stuff. So, the most important thing you should know in relation to that about myself is that I don't automatically co-sign on anything until I look into it. Well, I post about it, sure. But I'm just sharing the information. Now, if I really believe that something weird is going on and there really is something to it, I'm going to tell you in the video. I'm going to be like, man, something isn't right here. Something is happening. There's There are too many witnesses. There's so much evidence. And that's what I mean by co-signing. If I believe in something, I'm going to say it. Like, for instance, um, I'm going to do a video for each section on this YouTube channel that's dedicated to a specific topic. Like, I'm going to do, like, an introduction video to about about my beliefs in uh, extraterrestrial life and UFOs, alien abduction. And I'm going to talk about the things that I believe you know, and of course, I know nothing for sure, but I'm going to cover the things that I really lean towards. For instance, Roswell. I think something happened. I, I don't think that it was a weather balloon, and I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to see that something was being covered up. Whether it was aliens, interdimensional beings, both. Something happened. Something happened, and... I'm going to talk about that in a future video. I'm going to try to make that video tonight, actually. Um, it's those things that really drive me to do the research, um, do all the fact-checking that's necessary. I mean, I've read thousands of books. I've read thousands of articles. I mean, probably more than thousands of uh listened to so many podcasts. Like, I love Coast to Coast AM. I love the Paracast. You know, I find so many of these topics interesting, like the missing 411, amazing stuff. Um, there's a lot of channels that I follow. Uh, I really like Dabu7. I, you know, I, I would really like to join in on one of those Real Talk live shows that he does with, like, Enter the Stars and those guys. I mean, it's just awesome stuff, you know. Uh, and I'm all for Caluminati, man. Like, I'm all for it. I really, really really have a deep, passionate hatred for secret societies that try to control everything we do. They try to spy on us. I mean, it is out of control now. I have a smart TV in my house. It's, one of the, it's a curved 4K smart TV. It's a Samsung. And I've done a lot of reading about these new televisions. And there's a good chance that third parties are picking up information um, via that television in my living room that I have not verbally or in writing consented to, but I guess technically, because of the you know the small fine print, we did consent to it, because um, apparently there's a disclaimer with some of these televisions where uh, information gets sent out to third parties, but it's like, well, what does that mean? You know, an average person may not really understand what that entails. Well, that means that they're probably recording what you're saying in your living room. And, I, you know, I've even read, oh, be careful what you say in front of this TV and that TV. And it's like, wow, man. Like, that's where we are now. You know, it's going on 2017. But, yeah, man, that, that's... That, all of these things, I find it so interesting. I love space. I love science. I love new emerging technologies. Just all of those things. So, that's who I am. I'm a musician. Um... I like to think that I'm a good person. I care about my loved ones and all my closest friends. And um, I'm not out to hurt anybody. I want to spread the truth and really get that information out there. Um, and that is who I am.